Hi. With this movie we will show you how to update multiple records in your database using DMX Zone Server Connect. Note that, in order to use the update records functionality, you must have a DMX Zone database connector and DMX Zone database updater extensions installed. We created a page which contains a form with a hidden field and several text fields inside. We will use the hidden field in order to filter the records that we want to update. And we will use the text fields in order to update the records info. We created a database source using the DMX Zone database connector. It lists our products from the database. First, select the container that wraps your form inputs. If there is no such a container, then just add it. In this tutorial, our form fields are wrapped inside a table row. Then, click the repeating element of your data source. Select the Data Repeat option in the Bind to menu. And bind it to your container. Then, select the hidden field inside the repeat region that we've just created. And select the ID data binding from your data source. Bind it to the input data value. And then also bind it to the input name. Do the same for the text fields, binding the proper bindings to the input data value and input name. Click the Add New Server Action button when you are done binding the field's names and values. Add a name for this server action. Select the global variables of this action. And then link your page containing the form inputs. Select your form from the drop down. Then right click steps under the execute list. Add a database connection. We already defined our database connection when we created our data source, so we just select it from the drop down. Right click the database connection step that we've just added and add a repeat. Add a name for the repeat. Then click the server data bindings picker in order to define the repeat expression. Expand the globals. Under the post variable, you will find an object having the same name as your data source. Select the data array located inside it. And click the select button. Then right click steps located in the repeat that we've just added. And add database update. Add a name for the database update. And select your connection from the drop down. Click the update options button. Then select and add the database table that you want to update. Add the database columns that need to be updated. Select the first column and click the server data bindings picker in order to set up its value. Select the input name that needs to be used from the repeat results. In our case this is the product name. Then click the select button. Do the same with the rest of the database columns, selecting the proper values. Click the filter tab when you are done binding the values. Select the column that you want to filter your products by and add it to filters list. Assign a value to it using the server data bindings picker. Select the hidden field name from the repeat results. And click the select button. Click OK when you are done. Do not forget to save your action steps. Then, in the HTML5 data bindings panel, select the server connect actions executors and click the add new button. Select your server action from the drop down. 
Then, bind it to your form, and add a name for the executor. Check the On Submit checkbox. And click the OK button. Let's preview the results. You can edit different properties, for different records, and then, when you click the update button, the changes are immediately saved. That's how easy it is to update multiple records, using DMX Zone Server Connect.